Sean Hannity responded to Trump's killing of an Iranian general by dreaming up a scenario where we bomb more of their stuff and do regime change. Listen. One of the reasons I think Iran is doing all this is because Donald Trump's sanctions has crippled their economy. So they want to respond. They try to respond. They try to retaliate. Well, what's the first thing I think I'd be looking at if I'm an American president? There are three main refineries inside of Iran. Now, I'm pretty convinced. I don't know for sure. I don't have access to all the information the president has. I don't have access to all of our capabilities. But I am impressed by what we're capable of doing. And I have faith that if we targeted those three main refineries inside of Iran, their economy would go belly up. And what would happen? Then the people of Iran that have been protesting, although there's not a lot of news reporting on it, then they might have a chance to overthrow the mullahs that have been terrorizing even their own people. Okay, so there's a bunch to say here. The dynamic he's describing is the opposite of what would happen, and we're already seeing it right now. He's saying, oh, if you just bomb these things then the economy will implode, and then they'll have to overthrow their government. Sean, we just murdered a top Iranian general. And the response is, the country is more unified than it's ever been. So if you bomb civilian infrastructure, you think that'll make them like you and agree with you and then topple their own government? No, that's like one of the only things that would get them to fall in line behind their government and say, protect us from the insane Americans. So the dynamic is exactly backwards. But the more important point is, dude, he's casually calling for war crimes. This is, I mean, Trump did this as well when he campaigned. He said, we have to take out their families. We have to take out their families. And now Hannity's saying, oh, we have to bomb their civilian infrastructure, bomb their oil refineries. Dude, that's not an option. That's not a thing that's on the table. Look at how utterly immoral and vacuous this guy is. There's not an ethical bone in his body where he stops to think about the consequences of his actions. Imagine anybody else had bombed U.S. civilian infrastructure. He'd be pushing the red button in a second and he'd call it terrorism. But he wants to bomb their civilian infrastructure and he thinks it's totally fine? Because in his mind, he's like, whatever, they're Iranians, they're brown, it's irrelevant, I don't care. I don't care. You probably would kill civilians as well. You're going to bomb the oil refineries. There are going to be civilians there. There are going to be workers there. So you want to bomb Iranian workers. And you think somehow this is going to benefit the country or have them overthrow it? Stop acting like you care about freedom and liberty and justice for these people. You don't care at all. What you care about is the military industrial complex and U.S. corporations and cheap oil. You want to bomb their oil refineries so they overthrow the government and then get a U.S. puppet government in there and then they go back, can go back to producing oil, but, you know, the U.S. will get the benefits. This is the same playbook over again, man. In 1953, we overthrew their democratically elected leader, Mohammad Mossadegh, because he wanted to nationalize Iranian oil to give the profits to the people. We said, not on our watch. We overthrew him, put in the Shah, who's a puppet dictator. He was in there until 1979 when he was ousted in a revolution. But... The reason we did that was because we wanted cheap oil from them. That's on the record. That's a matter of historical fact. And now, uh, you know, Sean Hannity's concern, without a doubt, is the oil, is the military industrial complex, is our corporations, is having a, uh, you know, an obedient client puppet state to the U.S. again. But it, it really goes to show you, man, I don't know why anybody would take this guy seriously. I don't know why anybody would think he's given a, you know, a sophisticated analysis. This is the kind of guy he is. To go on his radio show and casually talk about, yeah, let's bomb their civilian infrastructure, bomb the oil refineries. Some civilians die, what are you going to do? But, hey, maybe that'll help us. This isn't about you. It's not about you. It's not about the United States. That's not in the conversation here. Their business is their business. How about you mind your own damn business? But just so you know, a Republican could literally nuke Botswana and Sean Hannity would be on the air talking about how it was the most genius move ever done. Trump assassinates an Iranian general who just defeated ISIS and was on a peace mission. And what's his reaction? What's Sean Hannity's reaction? Great. Now bomb some civilian infrastructure. Bomb an oil refinery or two. Let's do that. That would be a war crime, and that's something where there should be punishment if you were to do it.
but he doesn't think the rules apply to him because largely to this point in his life, they haven't. And that's a goddamn shame because these idiots need to be taken down a couple pegs.